Hey, this is Jared with the Daily App Show, and today we're going to take a look at Safe Eyes, which is a mobile browser that is going to allow you to browse the web safely. So if you have family members using this app, perhaps young ones, and you want a good browser that works great and blocks out all of that stuff that they just don't need to be seeing, then this is a good application for that. So it works and looks just like a browser. You've got your ability to create new tabs. You've got your bookmarks that you could bring in. We can go and browse websites, for example, like the dailyappshow.com. Hit go, and it loads up nicely and quickly, just like it would in Safari. It really depends on your connection speed, of course. So here we go. It's loading up, and if I wanted to add a new tab of course I could just tap on new tab I can also bookmark it or mail a link to this page so new tab works just like that I like the tabbed browsing as opposed to the way that it works in Safari so I really do like that better so we've got our website viewing here of course flash doesn't work so we've got an empty space there that's universal flash just doesn't work at all anyways so okay now, so what do you do here? You've got this browser, but what keeps people from using Safari on your device? Well, when you launch the app, you can have it automatically disable Safari, or you can come into your settings and, of course, go in and choose your parental controls or your restrictions. You can go in there and tap Enable Restrictions, enter in your passcode, or enter a passcode. Let's cancel. I want to enter a passcode. Let's just do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then turn off Safari. And so now, of course, we've got Safari turned off. It doesn't show up down here anymore. I can move Safe Eyes down into its position where Safari used to be. And now, if I, you know, anybody who doesn't know that password can't get Safari back. So I'm using Safe Eyes now as my mobile browser as opposed to Safari. And so that is going to make sure that safe browsing takes place and no websites that we shouldn't be able to get to will show up. And I don't want to even try and type any of those in, but if you've ever used this application before, perhaps on your iPhone or your iPod Touch, then you know how good it works. And, uh, and of course, you can even get a similar service from the same company on your computer as well. So this application comes with a little bit of a price, but you're paying for them to keep updating everything so that you're only viewing websites that you should be viewing. It's a great tool to have, especially with all the stuff that's out there on the internet. I think you're really going to like Safe Eyes uh, on your computer and on your mobile devices such as your iPad and your iPhone. So SafeEyes, a very basic, easy to use browser with the simple services of bookmarking, sending emails, and of course blocking out that stuff even when you do Google searches for something that you shouldn't be seeing and looking at. Um, it's going to block that stuff out and you won't be able to see it. And what's good is that it even blocks ads and all that stuff. See it blocked all of that altogether because you know, it just might not have had some stuff that I should have been looking at. So from internetsafety.com, we've got Safe Eyes Mobile. Definitely a cool application. I recommend you get it, especially to protect your younger ones from seeing the stuff that you just don't want them to see online. So go and get Safe Eyes in the App Store today for your iPhone, your iPod Touch, your iPad, and even for your Mac. Check it out in the App Store today.